Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm starting with my outline already sketched on. And the first thing I want to do with a flat synthetic brush is just put in the color around the outline. And I guess in my mind this is just abstract grass. Um, so I'm using a greenish color. And then up here in the upper right hand corner I want it to be a little bit lighter because that's where my light is going to be coming from and there's going to be shadows in here and stuff in this painting so I want it to be obvious where my light is coming from. Okay so I'm just using a flat synthetic brush and putting in my darkest areas, my dark brown areas in the glove. Um, sometimes I use the brush flat and sometimes I use the edge of the brush so just whatever you need for where you're working and you want to make sure you get these laces in there because that's kind of a, a defining feature of a baseball glove so um, this is the first step on the laces there'll be more but you want to get these dark areas in first Okay, now with that brown dry, um, I'm just going to paint the whole glove orange. So that will kind of be my base color for the glove. And then we'll be putting other shades on top of it. I'm going to start on the bat and I want to keep my brush strokes going in this direction because um, the bat is wooden and so there's going to be kind of a wood grain and you don't want to to go the other direction and and lose that I'm just warming it up a little bit. All right, now with a raw sienna and, and raw umber mixture, I'm going to start shading the bat because this is what will make it look round if you shade the edges and then just kind of blend it into the rest. Now I'm keeping in mind where my light is coming from coming from the upper right corner so all of this down here would be darker than than the top so now I'm putting my tape on the bat where they wrapped it in tape um, for a better grip. And this is just plain white, and um, once it dries, I'll come back and do other things to it, but I just wanna get this tape in there.
And I just want to fill in the base color on the ball, which is just a dirty white. And now I'm just uh, kind of aging the glove a little bit and dirtying it up. You can just look at the reference photo and see how to do this or um, just make up your own dirt on the glove. This palm right here does need to be a little darker. You want to make sure that you don't leave it bright orange. And I'm still just using that flat synthetic brush. Some of these places are dark because they're in shadow and some are dark because they're because the glove is dirty or worn out. And then the ball has um, the same thing on it. It's just like some of it's dirt, some of it's shadow. So with the brown and red mixture, with that small flat brush, I'm going to use the edge of it to put these lines in and to put the, the threads in. So for the threads, I'm just tapping, I'm, I'm just using the, the size of the brush, uh, make sure you have the right size um, to tap in these threads. Going back to my dark areas. Now, if you put a little line but on one side of the tape, it makes it look more dimensional. All right, now I'm using my hog bristle brush, just a flat hog bristle brush, and I'm going to scrub in my cast shadow. So this obviously is being cast by the bat, um, but then the glove is casting a shadow too, so just look at your reference photo and see which direction these shadows go. So right up here, even though it's touching the bat, the bat is not what's casting the shadow, it's the glove. And the reason I'm using a hog bristle brush is so that I can get those soft edges. Um, I mean, you can with a flat brush, but it's just easier with the hog bristle because you can just scrub it on there.
Okay, now with that flat hog bristle brush, I'm scrubbing in a shadow, I mean, a, like a darker area down here on the bat. And this white tape area is dry, so make sure it's dry. And you just put the shadow right over it. So this gives the whole bat dimension. And right up here, the glove is kind of laying on top of the bat, so it's casting a shadow on the bat. On the the glove is casting a shadow on the bat. And now I'm using that hog bristle brush to kind of soften some of the dark lines in the glove. So this just helps it make helps make it look more uh, realistic. I love using a hog bristle brush because you can scrub with it and get soft edges. That really helps a lot in acrylic paints because sometimes it's hard to get soft edges with acrylic paint. But um, the hog bristle brush makes it easy. So remembering where my light is coming from, I'm putting a shadow on the other side of the ball. I'm just adding some color into the ball and now some highlights and I'm still using that flat hog bristle brush and these are just subtle highlights all right now I've switched to a small round brush and I'm going to start putting in some brighter orange into the glove. So now I'm just brushing in some orange in places. I cleaned up my ball right there that looked a little off. And so I'm not going over all of it with the orange, but I just want some brighter orange areas. Just gives it more interest. I lightened it up a little bit and there's some places that are quite a bit brighter picking up more more of the light
So now I'm going really light with the orange. It's almost just a dirty white. And where the light is hitting it the brightest, I'm gonna go over it with this. I'm not covering up all of that that I just put in, but I want part of it to be brighter. Now remember the laces are important, so make sure you get these highlights in there so that those will stand out. Um, the laces on right beside the ball are more in shadow, so they're not getting this really bright highlight. Now, this is reflective light, or reflective color, so the color is re reflecting off the ball onto the bat, or off the glove onto the bat, and onto the ball. And I'm using a hog bristle brush to do this, to just scrub it on there. Now this, I'm using a hog bristle brush again, and this is, I'm putting in the wood grain on the end of the bat. And then some highlights. And just scrubbing in some more dark areas. Right here between the ball and the glove would be really dark. It's got a deep shadow there. And there you go, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.